how I know for a fact there's no aliens, there's no UFOs. Because when you become president of the United States, they tell you all the secrets. Nah, give it up. And you know if they told Trump there's some aliens, that mother sucker is telling people, oh, I know there's aliens. <laughs> he can't keep a secret. First of all, so do I you don't really think... believe that? Yes. Do you? No, no, no. no. I really no. believe that he's going to just no, run his not... mouth. You know what? The other day I had, mm. uh, I, had a, uh, I had a Mike Baker on. Okay, Mike Baker is a former CIA agent. This interview is going to go live here soon. We had a good conversation together. You know what I asked him? I said... How long is a CIA agent a CIA agent? So, well, it depends. 20, For 30 life. years, 40 years? Sure. How long is a president a president? Four years, maybe mm -hmm. eight years. If you're FDR, maybe, you know, 16 years, 13 years, right? Not but anymore, but not yes. Not anymore, but you know what I'm saying is four to eight years. But a CIA agent, 20, 30 years. I said, do you think when the president becomes a president, they tell him everything? Do, do you think the person that knows everything about everything that's ever happened in the history of America that's kept secret, say, you know, Area, 50, one, 50, uh, Area 51, you think they will tell the president everything? I don't believe that. I don't believe you're a person sitting here. You've been doing it for 32 years. You know stuff that 99.9999% of the world doesn't know. And you get a new guy who was an entrepreneur, a one-term senator, a guy that likes to rub people's back, okay, who becomes a president, a guy that is a smooth talker from Arkansas, a guy that's, you know, very... He what's wrong been, with uh, Arkansas? Yeah, what's You're really, saying that they don't tell the president You all the think secrets. they're going to tell the president I, everything? I suppose that they're you, supposed to. Let me ask know. you a question. What is the track record of any president that's been able to keep every secret to themselves? What's the track record of a president who's extremely ambitious, who's extremely competitive, to reveal an information to him that he's going to be able to keep it to himself. You don't think a president's going to sit there and say, let me tell you what I just found out today. Let me tell you something. I was just in Area 51. Dude, I saw a three-headed UFO. It was <laughs> ridiculous. I took a picture. Like, check this out. I told the guy, take a picture. I'll take a picture with you. So he took a picture with the UFO. You're taking selfies with yeah, aliens? I don't think, I don't yeah. think presidents know everything. I'm telling you, I don't think presidents know everything. I don't know who the person, I asked the guy, I said, who is the person that knows everything? He says, I mm -hmm. don't know. There's got to be. I would say that's pretty true because I couldn't even keep everything from Hillary. Someone's <laughs> always telling her stuff. That's right. I was oh. in hot water all the time. Clinton. There you go. I, Clinton. I was actually pretty good Clinton. That's my guy. I'm that's a Clinton it. guy. That's right. So, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they told Trump everything. You think they told Trump everything? No, can you imagine? Uh, well, I, if they did, that secret yeah, would be the cat's out the bag. There is no way in the world they say everything. Okay. There is no way in the world. You think Trump would have used the information he knew to threaten them? Let's uh Let, hey look you, you know there's this has been going back since Kennedy and you know we'll stay away from conspiracies and stuff but JFK said that he was very concerned about the clandestine side of the CIA because it was this inherently super secret part of the US government that was set aside from Congress and it was set aside from the president it was set aside from Senate Senate declares war Congress makes budget president leads a nation with vision and you know certain legislative agendas with it and so he was pointing out here we are this is the checks and balances the bicameral system of government and we have a supreme court to help keep us all honest when the big arguments break out meanwhile over here in the other side of the defense department you've got the clandestine cia and it was jfk that said this is bad and so I, I'm with Pat. Not only do they not tell the president, they don't tell them anything. They don't tell themselves I, by anything. The way, I don't think it's a good strategy to tell the president. <clears throat> I don't think so I, either. I, I don't think it's uh, – to me, you, you know – No, you I'm, know, ba I'm backing you up and yeah. saying JFK was when the I one talked that was to Jonah Mendes. But he thought it was dangerous By the way, somebody ways. said Trump started Star Force. Let me give credit to the person that Space said Force. it. Space, Space Force. Force. Uh, Blah, blah, blah. I think I'd he, love to get our audience No, this opinion. guy wrote Star Force. He said, okay. didn't Trump create Star Force? Obviously, well, he's Space wrong. Force. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but I'd love to get thing. our... Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, if you're, if you're listening, I'm actually curious to know. Go ahead, Adam. I'm, I'm curious no, to know No, I want to see what our audience has yeah. to say. Do they believe in aliens or, or, or not? Yeah. If you believe aliens exist, press thumbs up. If you think they don't exist... Press thumbs down. Like, let's just say, if you're part of the Megalodon community, put <laughs> thumbs down. If you're part of the UFO community, put yeah. thumbs up. But here's a question. I'm talking to Chief Disguise Officer Jonah Mendes, okay? And what Jonah Mendes did is she would make a mask looking like you and walking and sitting right next to President Bush. And President Bush would think Adam is in, and it looks identical to you. And there's even a picture of her doing a this. A mask of who? A mask of anybody's face. Prosthetics. She did. She yeah. was a chief disguise officer of the CIA. That was her job. What Gangster. a job to have. Exactly. Wow. 28 years. Her and her husband, by the way. Okay. 
So Imagine anyways, the role yeah, play they had going on. <laughs> Who, I said, I said, do you guys even trust each other if you're married to each other? That's He's like, 32 years, you're 28 yeah. years. Mr. How do you trust each Smith. other? Yeah, exactly, that's Can what it was. Can you be huh? that uh, Paulina part of a cozy or whatever yeah, and that novelist that. tonight? Can you be so, that girl? So, I, so I asked the question. I asked the question. I said, so here's a question for you. He says, what's that? What what's the qual what's the what are the great qualities of a CI agent? If you're greatest CI agent ever. Mm -hmm. What are great qualities of a CI agent? He said, she said, it's very simple, very charming. Great salespeople. Wow. Incredible with people. They know how to get you to like them. You'll love them. They're extremely ambitious, but there's one thing they have that the rest of the world doesn't have. I said, what's that? When they discover what Osama bin Laden did and they saved the world, when they go get intel from Russia or China, mm -hmm. and it was because of them that they saved the world, they don't need any recognition. They're not looking for glory. They don't need any wow. recognition. Yeah. He says, Ideal that's player. what made a great CIA agent because they don't go and say, hey, babe, you won't even believe what I did tonight. So you know this guy named Osama? Let me tell you. We met on Osama the other day, two nights ago, three nights ago, if you yeah. remember that, right? So yeah, you, you know you know this guy named Osama? Yeah. So I kind of stopped the whole thing tonight. No, you didn't. Like, imagine you made a girl at the bar. Yeah, well, so yeah. what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm, I work at uh, this accounting firm. I'm one of the accountants there. Well, how about yourself? What do you do? I kind of took out this guy named Osama. That's right. Yeah. Land a helicopter Can't in his that. backyard, Still walk upstairs, yeah. aired him out. So you, you, what do you, you do? need to be I do charming. You need to be charismatic. A, a, a charismatic, a people like person. Like you. But you're not looking for the like attention. Like you, minus recognition. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's a problem for you. Yeah, I mean, just tag me in a photo. I don't care what you say. I got it. It's all I need. Tag me in a photo. So the point But that's is, very interesting. Yeah, so the point I'm trying to make to you is, what is a president's DNA? A president wants what? They want the recognition. recognition. They need of votes course. recognition. <laughs> wow. It's like the opposite. So why would you tell the president okay. everything? You shouldn't. Okay. All right. I wanted to be a guy. You ever met these guys that you talk to and they don't say nothing, but they remember everything you say. They'll sit in a room and they'll just go, boom. You'll never catch them doing something like this. They never do this. They're just, they're just focused. They sit yeah, there. And they're like, they're looking at everybody like this. They like, don't blink. What is the matter with this guy, right? But they're a computer right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you said that. No problem. Got it. What does this guy say? Okay, got it. Still some, two hours later, not one word has come out. They're the smartest person in the room, right? That mm -hmm. guy. Those people weird me out. That's the guy that needs to know everything. Mm -hmm. That's the guy that works for the CIA for 33 years that has no aspirations of being a Comey, no aspirations of being on TV, no aspirations of doing anything like that. That's the person. What motivates that type of person? No, it's a DNA. It's a wiring. It's not about motivation. It's just I, it right. is who I am. It's a wiring. You, mm -hmm. you, there, it, there's not you like no one can make you be like that. Hmm. I can't make her be like that, him be like that, Tom be like that. Mm -hmm. You're either like that or you're not like that. It's purely wow. a DNA part. So all this stuff you read about, well, the president the day you get, you know, voted in, they tell you everything. No, they don't tell you. Everything. Okay, not stand corrected. Yeah, Trump I don't, I don't know didn't, about that. Uh, didn't know this about the is not Disney's book of secrets. Yeah, I don't go, know about that. They, so, they, they go to that little leather book up. So but if you are the president, you're gonna say, dude, just let me know right now. There's aliens or there's no aliens. I gotta know. You're gonna wanna. You're gonna ask that question, sir. We can't tell you. I'm sorry. Didn't Obama say that? Didn't he? You got an Obama impersonation? No, Bush. Bush got an interview with uh, Jimmy Kimmel. And Jimmy Kimmel asked Bush. But this uh, week, Bush, Obama said something about it, right, didn't he? Said something about what? UFOs. He said something about Trump this week in a book. I don't know if you saw that. He said, uh, yeah, he said low about, down mother sucker. You, did you actually, do we have he that cursed. as a story, he, he Kai, or no? He, boy, he dropped down into. Kai, do we have that as a story or no? Can you put that up? Oba uh, Obama, Trump book. Uh, uh, no, but Bush was being interviewed by Kimmel. And Kimmel asked him a question and says, so, so let me ask you a question. When you become a president, do they take you into Area 51 and tell you all the dark secrets, JFK, all that stuff, what happened? He says, yes. Are you willing to reveal any of it with us? No. <laughs> <laughs> so if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.